guys. Today I got another video. Today I'm installing some LED strips. So I think it's time for a change. Like I said, I've had these for four years. I bought them in Mexico, cheap, but they did an awesome job. But of course, four years, I think it's time for a new change. Now I did have an under tailgate light bar on this truck before from Op 7, but that didn't last long. It only lasted for like a month. As soon as we got rain, the thing started failing. I thought it was a connection, but it wasn't. It was a whole light bar that just went bad. So I got these for 30 bucks on Amazon. I have them on my Dodge Ram. I've had them for about three years. They still work great, function like they need to. Had no issue with them, 30 bucks. And I also bought these adapters here that I can connect this to the, I can connect this to the truck and use one for the lights and use the other one still to work my lights on my trailer. So yeah, you definitely need them. And these two are the same company that I bought these strips and this adapter from. So let's go ahead and install them. All right, so you see the connections there and there, as soon as I start pulling it, it came off. Of course, like I said, it's close to a $20 light I bought from Mexico. They did great, I was happy with them, but four years, I guess it was time. Uh, what I'm going to do is clean this up here. Just make sure this new light bar, we get a good grab. And I'm going to uh, show you this here that I've cut this off. The first one I bought from Op7, the light bar that I did, the one that didn't last me for a month, I cut this whole part off. So what it is, is there's a lip that comes up. So if you try to put something like this and you have that lip, you're not going to see through it. It's not going to come out because that's covering it. So you're going to have to cut it all off, all the way across. Ain't that right, buddy? Yeah. So that's what you're going to have to do to make sure you can see that light bar when you're using it. Now I know this doesn't look perfect. This doesn't have anywhere to brace it up. I am working on this. But what you're gonna do here is take this off. I'm gonna lay it down so you can see. Maybe you can see it. So you take this off here. See, it's supposed to go like that. This is supposed to go like this. All right. I think I got it right think okay once you took that off you're going to connect the the ones that's for the truck here and the other part here and you're going to connect this to the new led light so that's the adapter that's why i bought it and now that i got the light bar connected we're going to test it out all right here's the result it does work and i'm still going to be able to use my trailer lights also so yeah now what I'm gonna to have to do, once I install this, I'm gonna connect the reverse light, which is this red wire. Like I said, I had another light bar way before, and it's still got that reverse light wire on it. So once I connect this, I'll show you the reverse light. And there is a reverse light right there, it's on. So it works pretty good, I'm happy with it. Like I said, all I'm gonna to have to do right now is clean this up and make sure this thing gets a good seal so we can install it on. All right, so now we got it installed. Now we're gonna check how it looks like. I'm gonna let it sit here for a while just to make sure that the double-sided tape gets a grip. All right, so here's the parking lamps. They're not blinking. It's just the way the camera's picking it up, but they're not blinking. There is the turn signal, and yes, I do have it right directly where the splitter is for the doors. There's a left turn signal there. And what I like about this, the way it's turning on the turn signal like that, it matches with the side of the door also. So that's what I like about it. And, and there's the reverse lights. The parking lamps are still on, but like I said, for some reason on camera, it looks like they're blinking. They're not. I can't show you the uh, brake because I got nobody else with me, but trust me, they work. I like it. I like how it turned out. Definitely can see everything. That's the whole reason I told you I cut this off from here. That way you can see the whole light bar. What I'm going to do is this little part right here where the wires are showing. I think I am going to cover that up with electrical tape because I don't like how it looks. But other than that, I've had this same light bar on the Dodge Ram and it still works great. I've had it for three years. I love it. I like how it looks. I like how it works. Then hopefully that's this one will last me more than the those strips I had up there. I'll give you an update later on, but for right now I'm gonna wait till nighttime so you can see it better. Because during the daytime, especially with the sun hitting it, you can't see it that well. So stay tuned. Few moments later. Alright, so I'm out here about to test these lights, show you how it works. And that's the results. And one of the things I do like about this is the way the turn signal is turned on matches with my side turn signal also. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And those are switchbacks, the ones I have over there. You see how that one is? So it, the other side will turn white as soon as I turn off the turn signals. So yeah, that's the results. So if y'all want to get one, I mean, I'll, I'll put it on the description of where I got it and 
Hopefully, y'all enjoy it. Peace out.